Hey guys, welcome back. So did you guys watch the view today? I'm pretty sure you heard about it, but just in case you didn't, let's talk about the fight that happened between Sonny Hostin and Alyssa Farah Griffith. So, you know, the show was on today. They were having their political talk. You know, The View loves to talk about politics, especially right now when the 2024 election cycle is just beginning. You know, it's we're getting all the players who are, are announcing their candidacy. Today, they were talking specifically about Chris Christie and Mike Pence, who just did so. And of course... Alyssa used to work for Mike Pence during the Trump administration, so she, and it, actually she's made it known before that she really does admire and has respect for Mike Pence. She's never once talked bad about him, which I can respect to a certain degree. I mean, if I was someone's boss, I would want them to talk good about me, to be honest. But, you know, they were talking about, you know, his chances of winning, all, all those, um, important aspects of this announcement that he made so Alyssa went on she explained you know what could happen what his policies could be and Joy pretty much asks what do you think he can offer that's different you know that Trump won't get or that Chris Christie won't get what makes him unique to get the majority of the votes her response was that she has an idea but she's going to wait until she hears his town hall later so she can have a better understanding of what his policy and strategies are going to be so then it's Sonny's turn to talk and right off the bat you know she had this attitude that she's been carrying with herself for a couple years now and said you know I find it surprising that Alyssa, she said to Alyssa, that you are incapable of defending my pens. Now, I understand what Sunny meant, but to use the word incapable to someone, that's pretty harsh. Alyssa was very triggered. Sunny continues to read a list of the things that Mike Pence has done that in her opinion are wrong or that he messed up. But Alyssa was really, really upset. So she was like, well, you just accused me of something let me answer because to be honest joy's question wasn't really like meant for Alyssa to defend him in any way so i do think that sunny kind of twisted that in its head but yeah this the it, honestly the fight was like a minute but it was so intense that it was like really like you know it was like wow because Alyssa even brought up Barbara Walters and she was like this isn't Barbara Walters vision her vision is for us to have a conversation and Sunny says yeah it's for us to have different points of views and Alyssa hits back and says yes our views not Sunny Huston's views so here's the thing I think Alyssa had every right to go off on Sunny unfortunately for Alyssa I think she failed because the girl doesn't know how to fight you got to remember, Sunny is an attorney and she knows how to have an argument. Now, I'm not saying that she wins every time because we've had guests on who have really taken her on and, in my opinion, have beat her. I mean, I remember when Condoleezza Rice went on the show, she completely shut Sunny down. But unfortunately, Alyssa doesn't really know how to have an argument. So I get what she was trying to say with the whole Barbara Walters things and stuff, but it was just like all over the place. But I will say I have never seen Alyssa this mad. She did go off on Anna one time, but it wasn't really that bad compared to this. I also want to point out that Sarah jumped in to defend Alyssa and say, well, to be fair, you know, Joey's question wasn't for you to defend him. So we get what you're saying, Alyssa. But Sunny, you know, she was she kept reading her cards and Whoopi didn't know what to do. So she cut to commercial, which is something that she hasn't done since Megan was on the show. So they came back and it was a little bit more civilized. They, Alyssa went first to explain and then Sunny did. I would do anything to know what happened during that commercial break. I mean, can you imagine what must have gone down? That must have been epic. But I will say, Again, Alyssa unfortunately did a poor job of shutting down Sunny, but I think it was well deserved because I liked Sunny a lot when she came on the show like back in 2016. But I will say ever since Megan left, something happened to Sunny. She's very pompous, she's very dismissive, she treats others very condescending, and she does she does it not just to Alyssa but to Sarah too, which is why I think Sarah jumped in to help Alyssa because I always thought Sarah would be the one that would pop off on Sunny one of these days but I guess it was Alyssa 
But yeah, the producers of the show need to tell Sunny to chill out because I remember, like I said, when she first came on, she would disagree. She would have good arguments. She would sometimes try to agree with you. And for some reason, like I said, these past two years since Megan left, she, you know, it's been Miss Sunny. Whatever Miss Sunny says is what goes. And she has all the fox. And what I think that what Alyssa meant with um, Barbara Walters' vision is that I think she meant try to have a conversation rather than try to prove you wrong by reading 20 bullet points maybe that's what she meant but again she didn't articulate it very well but yes sunny i like sunny but she needs to be a little bit more respectful because she also interrupts people a lot which is something she was blaming Alyssa today but that is what happened you guys joy tried to defend sunny because Alyssa, when they were in the argument Alyssa said, well, you're the one that was defending Cornell West yesterday. And then Joy says, don't make it personal. To which Alyssa says, Sunny makes it personal with me all the time. Which, if we're being honest, it is true. I remember when Alyssa first came on, she would always, and they would have like a Trump topic or anything. Sunny would be, well, Alyssa, you used to work for them. So what do you think about your former boss? And like, it was okay the like the first month or so, but after a while, it got a little bit annoying. So you guys, let me know what are your thoughts about this fight? Were you surprised that Alyssa finally stood up to herself? Do you think it was time for her to do it? And what do you think of Sunny? So let me know your comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.